Hey, what's up? Hope you're doing good. In today's video, I want to talk about a case study. I am really happy because this is actually a case study of my company, appointmentsetting.io. And basically, we just went from zero to 5.5K in 10 days. And this is really exciting for me because almost three weeks ago, I was clueless. I was scared. I was living on my savings and I was scared of everything and I was not sure if I was actually gonna make it and now I'm really excited because of the things that are happening. But now, before we start, I want to show you some proof because of course we are talking about money, we are talking about generating income, we are talking about real money. A lot of people like to talk about things that are not true, but first, here you can see how many appointments I am booking. We are appointmentsetting.io, so of course we have to book appointments and you can see that we are doing that actually. Appointment, 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 and this is exciting. I sent these Loom videos today, and now I have to send more Loom videos. We have more warm leads, so this has been an amazing journey. And when it comes to Stripe, of course, I want to show you that this is actually true. Here you have my Stripe, my Stripe account, and let me refresh this so that you can see that this is actually true. Uh, here I am counting from September, to, from September 3rd to September 11th, and let me refresh this. This is going to change a little bit, but let me show you. Yeah, because technically here, this is counting the last seven days, but let me count the last 10 days. And there you go, 5.5K. This is real, this is not fake. We are making it happen. This is an amazing, uh, this is amazing. This, this has been a crazy journey. But now let me talk about let me talk about super quickly what has been going on. So before this, super quickly, just uh, I wanted to show you my background. In February of this year, 2022, I launched my first coaching program. In six weeks, I got I got one client for two thousand dollars. But then uh, after that, I got an offer to work as an appointment setter, and and in my first month as an appointment setter, I ended up generating almost thirty thousand dollars. And then basically in, in the next three months, I ended up generating around $200,000 in revenue, 100K cash collected for a coaching company. And basically I was not sure about what to do next after I stopped working with them. I was not sure if I wanted to create a program in Spanish. As you know, I am from Mexico. I, I was not sure if I wanted to go to get into sales. I was not sure about getting a job in the US. I was not sure about what to do, but I decided to launch a business. Actually, my sister encouraged me to, to, to start. I was not sure, but I decided to start. Uh, thanks, with, thanks to her, I, I decided to take the leap of faith. And yeah, I launched appointmentsetting.io technically three weeks ago, but for the first two weeks, this business was not getting traction despite my experience as an appointment setter. So even if I had, even after having this experience as, a, as an appointment setter, and even after generating this amount of money, I was not getting results and I was following the same process. So I was doing the same thing, but I was not getting the same results. And that was super, super frustrating because I was doing something that was working and then I was doing the same thing and all of a sudden it was not working as well. So I thought that my skills were not enough and, that, and, I, thought so, and I also thought that maybe this was a bad offer. I thought maybe people don't really want appointments or maybe I am positioning this business in the wrong way. Maybe my, the name of my company, appointmentsetting.io is pretty bad. I don't know, maybe I am doing something wrong. But I realized that I was not, I, that I was just not sending enough messages every day. Because when I was an appointment setter, I was sending 200 messages every day. I was having 200 conversations every day. But now, after launching this new business, because I had to create content, because I had to talk with clients, well, in this case, not clients, but because I had to, to, to create the stories and because I, ha I was planning about what to do, I was doing a bunch of things that were not important, but I was not sending more than 20 messages a day, not even 10, to be honest with you. And most days, I was not even doing anything when it comes to outreach, when it comes to reaching out to cold prospects, to new prospects. So, this was the, the breakthrough. I understood that I needed to change my approach. I understood that systems were the solution, not willpower or motivation. Because before working as an appointment setter, I thought that maybe I was not getting the results that I, that I wanted to have because I was not consistent. I thought that maybe something was wrong with my mind, that maybe I was doing something wrong. 
but turns out that you don't have to rely on willpower or motivation because it's not like you need to feel bad about not sending enough messages every day. That's not your fault. It's just that you have to set up the right systems in order to win. It's that simple. And here the thing is, even if even I, I didn't want uh, to, to test new methods because most people said that uh, the systems that I wanted to use were not going to work. They said that, for example, getting an appointment setter was not necessary before hitting $20,000 a month. So I still wanted to try. I still wanted to test this new method. And that's what I did because I started to question what they were doing. I, start, I started to question what they were saying because most of them gave me information that was not accurate in the first place. I don't want to say anything bad about anyone, but basically when I paid for a coaching program, they were telling me that it was okay to send 10 messages or 20 messages a day and that I was about to become uh, a six figure. <laughs> yeah, that I was about to become a, a really successful person, right? I was about to say something that is not uh, politically correct, but yeah, they told me that I was going to be successful, but the reality is that that, not, that didn't happen. And then when I started working as an appointment setter, I realized that I needed to basically that I needed to do 10 times the thing that I was doing before. In this case, sending messages. I was getting the advice of sending just 10 to 20 messages. And then when I was, a work, when I was working as an appointment setter, they told me you have to send 200 messages a day. And then I started to question, well, if they, if they didn't say the right thing here, what if they are not really saying the right thing in all the other st stuff, in all the other aspects in the business? So I started to question those things and I started thinking about different methods to win. And basically, after having this breakthrough the next day, I started, uh, the next day I started, let me change this. Yep. The next day I started the process to hire an appointment setter and one week later, we started working. So I was scared because I was not making money. I was scared because I didn't really have a lot of experience with an employee or something like that. So I was living also on my savings and basically my savings were drying up. But basically onboarding a team member meant that I went from six months of having a good life to only two months that I, that I only had two months left to survive. So I decided to take that risk and I decided to use my capital, the capital that I had in order to win, because why on earth would I like to have six months of a safe of a safe uh, journey that maybe is not going to work if I can use all of that capital in order to win right now. And if I fail, then I will always find a solution. And that's what I decided to do. So this was the decision that I made and it paid off pretty quickly because I started working with my appointment setter and basically for the first week, things were not going really well, to be honest. I was about to finish the first week with zero appointments and then the magic started to happen. I woke up and I saw that somebody booked an appointment and then I booked almost three appointments on the same day. So it, it was crazy to see the, the difference. It was night and day. And basically the next day I got my first client. Then three days later, I got the second one. Three days later, the third one. And three days later, three days later the fourth one. And that's how I took appointmentsetting.io from zero to, from zero at the beginning of the month to 5.5K in 10 days. And right now I am booking around seven to, uh, seven to 10 calls a week and getting 10 warm leads a day consistently. And when it comes to warm leads, this has been very, very consistent. 10 warm leads a day. People that are giving me their email, ad their email address and people that are raising their hand saying, yes, I am interested on what you have to offer. And this is exciting. This is an exciting journey because I've had, to be honest, I've had a ton of failures in the past, but now at this rate, I really believe that we are about to hit 10K in October. And the goal of course is to hit 100K a month in 2022. In 2023, 23, hopefully 22, but 2023. And now my focus actually is to provide results for my clients. So I tested this new method, it worked for me, and now I am testing this new method for them as well. And I'm, I am really confident that I am going to bring results for them because this method worked really well for me. But basically that's now my focus. 
providing results for them. And I am even thinking about stopping my client acquisition, my client acquisition system because of the number of leads and appointments I am getting. So at this point, uh, I want to focus more on my clients, but at the same time, uh, this, work, this is working really well. And I want to test new methods to provide even better results for my, cli my clients, even bigger results for my clients. But basically, this is how this journey has been happening, right? And you can see that my English is not perfect. Sometimes I make mistakes, but that's okay. But yeah, basically, this is what happened in the last few weeks, in the last few days. And I am really excited for what's about to happen in the next few weeks, in the next few months. And basically, here you have some takeaways. So here's the thing. You have to grow before you are ready. A lot of times you will think that maybe you are not ready, that maybe you are at zero, so that you have to be careful with your money, you have to be apprehensive with your money, but you have to think the opposite way. You have to grow before you are ready because that's exactly what the startups in, in Silicon Valley do. They actually invest a lot of money. They, they actually get investors who invest a lot of money and then they start working on something really big. They start hiring a lot of people. And of course, sometimes that doesn't work, but even if that doesn't work, they will try again and again and again. And it is just a matter of time until something works. But the cool part about this is that you will build the foundation of something really big. So you have to grow before you are ready. And I know that this is cliche, but you don't have to be afraid of taking, uh, you don't have to be afraid to take bigger risks. This is really cliche, but at the same time, I just saw how important it is to take risks. And you have to question what your mentors are telling you because a lot of times they were not in the trenches. A lot of times they were not, do they were not in the same position as you. A lot of times when they started, uh, they were already making a lot of money. A lot of times they already had a big audience. So they are not really going to understand your situation a lot of times. Yes, you have to follow what someone that is at a higher level is doing. You have to do what they are doing. But at the same time, you don't have to follow every single step. You have to question what they are doing in order to do something that works for you. And you have to question what everybody else is doing. Because if they are doing the same thing, then that means that you have to try something new. And the last part is that you don't have to be afraid of testing new things. Because a lot of people told me that I was doing things wrong and that this was not gonna work. Like, but you hear on those stories, again, this is a little bit cliche, but a lot of people really told me that this was not going to work and that this was not a good idea, but then turns out that it actually worked. So don't be afraid to test new things. Don't be afraid to take bigger risks. And yeah, basically those are the things that I wanted to share with you guys today. And if this sounds interesting to you, I would love to continue sharing with you guys the strategies that I am using, the methods and the systems that, I'm, that I am implementing in my business and in the, in the businesses from my clients, because I think that these strategies are working really well. You can see that again, English is not my first language and still these, these methods are working. So this has been a great experience and I would love to continue sharing uh, with you guys these strategies to see how this can be applied for your business. So if this is something that sounds cool to you, I will leave a link down below or just send me a, a message and I will be happy to, to share how this process looks like. I would love to walk you through this process so you can apply pretty much the same thing to your own business. I know that there are some differences in your business and in another business and that maybe you have different plans, different goals. So I would love to listen to your story and see how these strategies can be applied to your business. But overall, uh, that's it for this quick video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Let's continue. Let's keep working. And thank you for watching.